Hello there and welcome to a very, very abrupt video. Lego have just announced a brand new Lego Star Wars series on Disney+, Plus, but we're not here to react to that, we're here to talk leaks, which honestly I haven't done for quite a while. And there's a great video coming out at the end of the month actually about what could have been with some of these Star Wars leaks. But this video pretty much gives us the rest of the year in terms of Lego Star Wars, all the sets that you can expect. So let's waste no time and get straight into these rumors. And the first of these rumors is some sort of Jedi Bob Starship. Now, this is Jedi Bob on screen now. If you don't know who he was, I believe he was a completely random Jedi that they whacked in one of the old gunship sets and that sprouted one of the most favorable Lego Star Wars minifigures across the entire community. So many people have been remaking Jedi Bob and giving him updated flesh tones because this was back when Star Wars figures, all the Star Wars figures, just had the typical Lego skin. And that was their regular skin tone. But recently, you may have seen on the art piece that we talked about here on the channel at the end of April, did have Jedi Bob, and it looked like they had changed his yellow tones to a more light flesh colour. Now, we're talking about Star Wars, so yellow people do exist, and he could definitely have been some different humanoid species. but. I assumed that they'd change this with an updated design. It turns out Jedi Bob has still got that yellow flesh tone, but could definitely be popping up in a set later this year, especially if we get some sets based on this, because don't forget, last year based on the Christmas special, we got Rey and Finn in some sort of Christmas Falcon diorama, and that was released a year after the Christmas special that it was based on. So perhaps we won't be getting these sets till next year, but hopefully they can release them a bit sooner and alongside this later on this year we can see some sets because this is not the only thing that was in this trailer but we also get a look at these X-Wing TIE Fighters. I think they even, there you go, X-Wing TIE Fighters, bottom of your screen. They have taken the four wings with the folding mechanism and whacked it on the body of a TIE Fighter. Again, I have seen so many countless posts across all social medias of people taking TIE Fighter wings, adding them to ATST walkers, adding them to AT-ATs even, and vice versa. Taking the legs from an ATST, AT-80, AT ATRT, and whacking them on a TIE. So if we are to get a new X-Wing, a new TIE, and later on perhaps a new Falcon this year, Everything that I've talked about recently on the channel, this is going to be a great year for LEGO Star Wars fans. That means that there is a solid chance that we can take the wings off of an X-Wing and not only whack them on a TIE Fighter, but whack them on an at, -AT and all the other previous ships you can think of, anyone that really has that pin connection. We've even seen Anakin's ETA Starfighter, which you might be able to see in this little bubble, does have the wings connected on by pins and you can see these would be perfect for the x-wing wings because it also gives it that hinge that can be tilted up and down and as long as the wings aren't too big perhaps we'll have to sacrifice some sort of playset scale for these type of connections but you're looking at adding x-wing wings onto a load of other previous lego star wars ships and i think that is amazing especially if lego have fought ahead and are also releasing a tie fighter that has just as compatible wings as the x-wing so i was just editing this video and i noticed a few things first off look at the beard on jedi bob it definitely reminds me of benny's torso from the space theme so i guess jedi bob is our benny and also looking at these ships Lego have already been preparing for these interchangeable wings, and I don't know if it was meant to happen or not, but Anakin's 2020 TIE Interceptor, and originally these are the wings, the exact same connection on the Imperial TIE Bomber that I built into Vader's Advanced TIE, but Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, the ETA-2 class Starfighter, and their Imperial TIE Bomber have interchangeable wings. I'm not sure if anyone Notice this before me, I'm not active on Reddit. In fact, I try to avoid it if I can, but I think this is amazing. And if the X-Wing and TIE Fighter do have the same joint, I'll get a close up for you just so you see what I mean. If they do have the same joint, this is going to be amazing. These are gonna be great sets to release together. We've recently seen the retirement of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter. And right now, 
It's the first time since I can remember there has not been both an X-Wing and TIE Fighter on shelves. In fact, the only versions of both are the UCS X-Wing and the UCS TIE. If you want both of them, it's going to set you back a couple hundred pounds. If we can get an X-Wing and TIE that even comes to a hundred pounds together, or they could whack them in a twin pack and sell them for probably about 90 pounds, that is going to be great. But you still haven't heard the best news because that's right, we have Ewok Bounty Hunters too. But in all seriousness, there has been rumours for a while now about this Dark Millennium Falcon. So I personally assumed that they were probably going to repeat what they did last year with the Christmas scene. But for Halloween and include a few more Dark Side characters, we've seen them already in Star Wars. We've got a Dark Side Ray. We've got the Sith speaking 3PO. We've got Luke in Darth Vader's costume, which personally, we get so many Vaders, I've created a Dark Side Cave Luke and added it to my display. So when my room tour comes out tomorrow, I still haven't forgot about that. Thank you so much for 1000 subs. You'll be able to see Luke as well as all my other Star Wars minifigures. But that is not the biggest surprise of this trailer because who is it that steps out of the Falcon? Of course, it is Darth Jar Jar Binks and this is actually voiced by Armored Best who recently returned to Star Wars to play Helleran Beck who he had already been playing in a kids game show but it's nice to see him returning as Jar Jar because Jar Jar has so many more fans now than he did when the prequels came out so it's nice for Armored to be seeing the love that his character is finally getting and also it means we could get a Darth Jar Jar Lego minifigure as well as this, I've seen leaks that there could be a pure Darth Vader in his white costume, which we have seen in the Black series. So it would make a great addition as a minifigure. And as I said, Ray C-3PO, I've also seen a dark side Chewbacca. Originally, I thought that was going to be a Kursantan because he is a bit darker. But I also do think it would be really cool to get some sort of evil Chewbacca. And if the pieces can also be used for Kursantan, that's just an added bonus. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you are most excited for from this trailer. Personally, I cannot wait to watch it. And I hope we get loads and loads of Lego sets from this. Recently in the Lego adverts and the different videos Lego have been posting about Star Wars, including the recent addition to Lego Fortnite, I'm really enjoying the humor aspect that they put into it. They're really taking Star Wars and making it their own for Lego Star Wars. And I'd love to see things like these released as sets that we can pick up rather than just mocks that few of us are able to build. So that is all from me today. I just wanted to let you know, definitely drop a like on this video if you are also excited for Rebuild the Galaxy and all the sets that may come from it and subscribe for more awesome Lego content coming very, very soon. May the bricks be with you always.